Visiting the sketchiest trailer park in Arizona. Ooh. In this channel, we go to a lot of sketchy places. Today, we take you to the east side of Phoenix in a trailer park, and you meet these foos. That's right. That's right. Bro, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who, who just showed up? My boy just showed up. But... <laughs> Was that it? Was that it? That was a big, bro. No cap. <laughs> I had to extend it on this unit. <laughs> How much is one pill? One pill, like, uh, we charge like a couple bucks. Two dollars? Yeah, like two dollars. In America. Bro, they be calling, bro, oh my God. Never mind, bro. Never mind, I'm not explaining shit to y'all today. Let's just watch, bro. It's a trailer, trailer park. park. Trailer parks. You see videos all over the internet of famous hoods like South Central LA or famous <laughs> projects like Oblak. But can you name a famous trailer park? They're sort of an undiscovered world. If I had a stereo, uh, what I think Sorry. of a trailer I don't park know. pops um, into my head, I confess that I probably picture someone making moonshine or squirrels too. But is that the truth? Today, since we're going to the first trailer park in channel history, I thought we'd start off with a bang and visit the sketchiest- Is 8 Mile a trailer park or is that a street in Detroit? So get ready, folks. It's time to hit the streets. Or should I say park? Not everything from this episode is able to be put on YouTube, so click the Patreon if you'd like to see more. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, tell the people where we are and what this place is known for. Right now we're on 48th Street, right now 48th Street McDowell, dog, right here with my dog. I ain't seen him, I just got out of prison and shit, dog. Oh, you're the, the guy that bro. just got out. Yeah, I just got out. So are you celebrating a little bit today? Well, shit, honestly, rest in peace my mom, dog. She just died a couple days ago, too. A couple days before uh, Thanksgiving, dog. And I just got out, do you know what I mean? Celebrate to her too, dog. Celebrate to the life, dog. You know what I mean? How long did you go away for? Shit, I just did three and a half. It ain't too much, you know what I mean? So what is it like being out? Shit, being out. Bro, can we at least take a moment of silence, man? Jesus, bro. You think he's just moving on? Like, I, I, everyone deals with shit differently, so maybe this is the way he deals with it. But that's very sad, bro. Brother. Now it's lovely, dog. You know what I mean? Right here, picking up the homies, picking my primos with some, with some ladies. You know what I mean? We out here on the block, same old shit every day, dog. Was there anything that changed since? Because you went out, you went in before COVID, right? Yeah, no, nah, that shit was fucked up. Yeah. That shit was fucked up in there. I was in that bitch 19, 20 months in with no plea, just cut due to COVID. You want to walk us around a little bit or introduce look, us we got, to the we got, we got my primos right here, dog. JP. I like your style, dude. What's your name? I'm JP. Nice to JP? meet you. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. you Entrepreneur. Look like you do a lot of yeah. Professions. All right, what, buddy. What do you do? I do anything from music to, to boxing and shit. From anything, man. I'm, I'm a entrepreneur. I be doing everything. Okay. Yeah. I like the style too. You got unique fashion going on. Yeah, for sure, man. You know what I mean? You gotta keep it fresh for the ladies. You already know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When people, bro, I know he's sweating, bro. I, this Arizona chat. I know he's sweating under there. Yo, he has to have a deodorant sponsorship or some shit, bro. There's no way he survives in Arizona heat dressed like that. No chance. Picture Phoenix. I was picturing hiking, mountain biking. I don't really picture trenches. Oh, shit. They don't know Phoenix then. You know yeah. what I mean? We be in the trenches all day. Tell me about the block a little bit. What do you know? How long have you been here for? Well, I've been locked up for about 17 and a half years. I got here in 2000. 2000? Yeah, I got locked up. <laughs> 2002. Got out 2014. That's a long time. Yeah. What'd you go away for? Aggravated assault, attempted yeah. murder. It seems like, cause we've been to Philly, we've been to San Francisco, we've seen it, it hits all over the place right now. I guess what what impact have you seen it have in Phoenix? In Phoenix, look, all you gotta do is drive down the streets. You see everybody on the side of the road, on the streets, pan panhandling. People just looking like they're homeless. They're homeless. They are. They need help. You know, people need rehab and detox. I don't know if we hit on this briefly, but I want to ask again. Speak to cost of living. How it's gone up lately? Cost of living, man, went up, man. I'm paying like almost 3k where I live, man. That shit's expensive, man. I remember paying like maybe 1500 for a two bedroom, but it was like really not really big, you know. But for a little thousand bucks more, man, I got a bigger spot. Yeah, you save money, bro, is living in these trailer parks, fool. I'm going to be honest with you. That's the only way to make So do they have homes or do they have trailers? Because one of those niggas, he's just visiting, bro. He got a crib, my nigga. So how about the rest of them? Money if you don't got money. Can, can you guys take yeah, them on a little trip through it? It's all family, though. We all, so we all it, take care of each other here. What does it cost to, to rent around here? Right here? So I own my trailer. He owns this shit. Yeah. I bought that shit years ago, but we only pay about five, six hundred dollars in rent. You know what I mean? 
but shit, I bought that bitch. So if you if you buy your trailer outright, five or six hundred a month mortgage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like you just you just rent the lot. You know what I mean? But there's trailer. one guy on this whole thing. Yeah. 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 He on this one. He on the next one. Are people he, here responsible for the maintenance? Like if their toilet yeah. goes out. Yeah. 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 So out? you're buying a house pretty much. Buying a house. It's just a small house. You know what I mean? It's almost magical. Like they look small from the outside, but you oh, walk yeah, in, it's bro. pretty damn yeah, big. We can go. We can yeah. go in mine right now. Yeah. A little bit. Mine yeah. Let me see that. So we go up there and shit. Some people, their only experience with a trailer park is watching Trailer Park Boys about that TV show <laughs> in Canada. What can you tell them? Like, what's a true stereotype? What's bullshit? What's real? I mean, it's all low key. It's, it, we're all the same shit. Them motherfuckers trying to get money, you know what I mean? It's all the same shit. Would you say it's a close knit community? Yeah, I, oh, this is all family around here. Because I feel like a big Aww. thing that's missing right now is community. People don't even know their own neighbors right now. Do you feel like. This place has a nice sense of community to it. Oh no, this this shit is a great community. You know what I mean? Everybody knows everybody. I mean, it's a good sense of community right here. It's all family and shit. Do you guys feel represented in this country? Do you guys feel like the government has your best interest at heart? Well, I wish she came during the daytime because I can't really see like shit except for like what's directly in front of me. I can't see the background or nothing. I can't tell if there's buildings back there or forests. Is this in the city? Is it in the suburbs? Nah, fuck that. The government ain't got nobody's bad. You know, fuck the government. But at the same time, you call a community, you know, we gonna handle this shit. Like, we got everybody around here. This bitch, we got here someone by Jack. Someone oh, this by guy's a character. Like, everybody's fucking connected here. <laughs> so you feel like rely on yourself because you can't rely on the government? Yeah. No, you know to be mean? honest, at the end of the day, nah. Were your friends at school scared to come to your house when you would invite them over? They were scared, but nah. they knew that if they came, some shit was gonna go down all the time. You know you so if someone's first time coming over, they were a little like, bit sketched up, but then they got used to it and were happy. Yeah, they met us. They were like, all right, these people are cool. Let's fuck with them, you know, and let's become friends. And then after that, it was just a wrap, you know? Hola, como esta? Bien, bien. Tu? Me llamo Tomas. Salvador. Ooh, me gusta tu bigote. Es muy fuerte. <laughs> Pienso que es importante para un hombre tener un bigote fuerte. ¿Cuántos años aquí? ¿Qué te gusta sobre el parque? Está calmado, está bien. Y este <laughs> mal, <laughs> <laughs> es tu bodyguard, yeah. rent es muy alta ahora, ¿qué piensas sobre esto? Oh, está difícil, no creo que está muy fácil la vida, tenemos que trabajar duro para Asian poder. don't have that, bro, my shit kind of thick, bro, stop playing with me, my nigga, like, bro, give me the mustache at least, you're not gonna give me the beard, but give me the mustache, shit, I'm not gonna fight with you over whether or not I got a mustache, but I got a mustache, I can comb it right now. Adelante, ¿eh? ¿Qué haces para un trabajo? Soy emplatador. Tienes uh, palabras que quieres. Bro, my shit look, my shit look better than his, bro. Bien, muy bien, que todo salga bien. Lo que ando diciendo. His is thicker though. He got a thicker mustache than me. That is the voice of a man right there. <laughs> Yo, Nick, they missed six months. Them in his bio. Oh, you know what I mean? Hands, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You can tell. He has drywall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Dude, <laughs> that guy. Fuck, you can tell. He's like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, we keep it right here though, we keep it close, you feel me? How is the dating pool around here? Is it easy to find a good date? It's a good hard. Marriage? It's yeah. hard. It's hard. Tell us it's about it, please. Hard. I want to hear. Who Many like to flex. Many like to flex, yeah. but they don't have it, you know? Yeah, and Thank the ones, you. The yes. ones that have it don't even yeah. brag about it. Yep. Yeah. It's hard to get a decent man, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? What percent of them are flexing and what percent of them really got majority it? Majority are flexing, majority <laughs> don't got it. Like that. Yeah. It's more the female that are independent like us. Yeah. We Bro, why are you bringing all men down? Like, yo, niggas is talking about rent being up, fentanyl hitting the streets hard, and then come on, bro, you feel me? Like, <sighs> yeah, but you got it though, for sure, for sure, yeah. Look, I also agree. I think pump faking like you have more than you have is completely unnecessary, personally. I just like it's just like, bro, this. Is we got it. We work. So it feels like the flexors are winning, though. Like when it comes no, to. No, they winning. Oh, no. 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 Who, who gets the girl? The flexor usually gets the girl. It's the girl going the after guy the guy that's going to the, hold on. Yeah. The guy Nigga that's going to the five, he has his <laughs> uniform. Oh. All the girls are like, oh no, he's not I've cool. Been, and then the cool. flexor, they're that's like, cool. Ooh. A man that works is. Beat him in Boston, man. Oh, is that I kid wearing Supreme? The men around here. Uh, All right. Uh, How is the dating pool? I just heard the ladies talk. How do you think the dating pool is around here? To be honest, right here, it's kind of. It sucks a little bit because, you know, it's a lot of women out here that, you know, you, know, you got the Latina women, I like Latina men, some black women like black men, but it's all kind of different out here, you know, so you might go for a black woman, but she doesn't want to, she likes a Latino man, you know, but a lot Bro, of these women what? are out here to play, especially on this block, 48th Street, you know, Yeah. But uh -huh. you just got to watch out for yourself. There are a lot of gold diggers, though, you, I mean, a lot yes. of gold diggers, bro. Like, what, what percent Latino is this area? What percent black? What percent white? Like Latino that. right here. No, that nigga chatting, bro. Yo, he chatting right now. He just described, he basically just said, 
You know, we all got our sexual preferences, but like in the longest way possible. <laughs> Yo. Okay. You know, I tried to go for Latino women around here. You know, they weren't really me feeling too. me. Yeah, yeah you know. They bad. They, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. They're bad, but they don't, you know, so I had to try my luck elsewhere, you know. Okay. Especially around here, you know, you're going to see traditional Latino women go for tra traditional Latino men. Yeah. Have you ever considered learning how to salsa dance? Man, I salsa right now. Uh, oh, no, ladies. Oh, ladies. Ladies. You guys, <laughs> this gentleman's DMs are out to be flooded by Come some TRE. Yes, yes, hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> How drugs had creeped into the neighborhood. So they took me to a gas station where, behind in a field, a bunch of homeless people and fentanyl addicts were gathering, smoking, and sleeping. Here's what we found uh, one of my childhood friends right here, my sister's friend. Really? Yeah, the other day I was right here at 7 Eleven getting some milk and shit, and I seen her like standing over there at the bus stop with her fucking ass out like this. And she was, no, for real, man, she, she'd be doing that shit, man. I had to call her dad, her dad came with her. Little big ass commotion over here. It just it kind of broke my heart, you know, knowing that I knew that little girl since she was little, you know. Damn. Hey, no drugs, chat. No cap, especially fentanyl. Like, if you're gonna do a drug, bro, just do a normal drug that you won't ruin your life with. You feel me? Like weed, for example. Don't do a drug that's gonna give you lung cancer or completely fry your fucking brain in two years. Like, if you're gonna do so, like caffeine. Caffeine's a normal drug. Opioids? Okay, you don't need me to tell you those are bad, my nigga. Bro, what the fuck is a trank? Okay, my nigga, you just asked me if a tranquilizer was okay to take? Here. Of course. In the background here are a dozen, couple dozen homeless folks. Yeah. What's that like raising a kid in this area? Look, let me just be straight up. At first it wasn't like this, you know, it took a while to get. Bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. I have a very, I don't even know how niggas gonna take this. I just like, how, why does this kid have Supreme? I just feel like, bro, if your life is not dandy, why are we even spending money on shit that's not like, why is this kid wearing Supreme? It's fake? How y'all know it's fake? Oh, it's fake? It's valid then. I'm just saying, like, there's no need to blow money on baby clothes. You can grow out the shit in like fucking six months. To this point where we at right now. I mean, I do get concerned. Are y'all assuming that? Or you guys know something? He grows and where he grows at. Other than that, I wish I Wait, had she's fake flexing! Hold the fuck up! The same thing she just criticized men for. She's she teaching him to do it. And doing it herself. Oh my God, that's so ironic. Yo. <laughs> Yo, that's funny as hell. <laughs> that's funny as hell, bro. That's so much money for people that I can. I would take that. I think that you have a good heart, but with money, that's her kid. I'm assuming if you gave him no. each no. twenty grand, they yeah, yeah, no. straight up. Hold on, I want to hear his combo. Oh, my child, why are the kids here? Look, let me just be straight up. At first, it wasn't like this. You know, it took a while to get to this point where we are right now. I mean, I do get concerned on my child, of how he grows and where he grows at. Other than that, I wish I had so much money to help people that I can. You know, and I would take that. I think that you have a good heart, but would money yeah. help these people? If you gave him no. each no. twenty grand, they yeah, yeah, be no. straight up no. So I guess we're walking into a reunion right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We're walking into block. Still four hundred block. You know what I mean? Still on the block. Hey, one of my homies is here yeah. from back in the day, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah a he reunion. Could, he could tell you a good story, man. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys know each other from back in the day. Oh yeah. yeah. It's my boy right yeah, here. You know what I mean? Dude right here. It's man. my boy. Yeah, man. How long you guys been in this area for? I've been here for about two months. Okay. How is it out here? Pretty chill. Pretty crazy. At night? No. Negative. no. Yeah, Do your folks know you're out here? Uh, yeah. And they don't? Yeah, but I don't talk to them anymore. So tell, can you tell people about the impact that Fatty Wap has had on this area, Phoenix? It's gotten bad. Like, most of my friends Yo. died on you know, Fatty Powder. Bro, it looked like he just fought like a pack of bears. Damn. Yeah. People say on the news, like, it's as easy as one hit can change your life. Is it like that? Let's say a couple hits can change your life, not just one. Because I know Arizona, a lot of stuff comes over the border and, and hits here. And is it hard to know what you're getting from the deal? Because everything is mixed up and stomped down with different shit. Yeah. What is that like? Uh, I've heard homies say, like, that they were getting clear and they were getting, next thing you know, it was Fetty powder. One person I knew fell out over that shit. Like, literally hit it. Cause he ain't never done fetty powder before. It's dangerous, huh? Tell him. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's dangerous, dog. That's why I'm telling him back up a little bit. That shit get dangerous, huh? You just took a couple of hits. How do you feel now? What's different? 
I don't know. Do you feel praised? What? You don't know? This is so sad. Bro, this is so sad. Similar to how you did just two minutes ago? Sure. It seems like the common denominator with almost everyone is that something happened early in their life that's painful that they're kind of running from. Would you say that's a common story around here? Oh, uh, almost definitely. Is there any part of your story that you'd be comfortable sharing? Yeah, I've been homeless since eight. And how old are you now? 38. Wow, so you've really been just surviving out here. What? What caused you to go homeless the first time? My brother died when he was um, 11 years old. And I couldn't sleep in the same room. And the house was broken. And How'd your brother pass? He just went to sleep one night and never woke up. And then from that point... At 11? Yes. How is it being homeless as a 15 or 16 year old? Were people looking for you? Were you just... You kind of just checked out of life. How did that go? I started learning how to live on the street at the age of 10 years old. Do you see any way out of this hole that you've dug? Eventually. So do you sleep out here? Yes. And do you have a tent or what's your setup? I don't sleep out here in the park. I sleep here where I can lay my head, really. Anywhere I feel safe. Do you have a preferred spot or does it switch every night? It switches. It never used to be uh, homeless people robbing homeless people. And, People doing people dirty. Well, I appreciate you sharing your story. Is there anything, Whoa. any final thoughts you'd like to share? No, not really. I appreciate you. And your name is? Chris. Tommy. Nice to meet you, man. You too. I wish you the best, okay? All the time. I've been traveling around, seeing a lot of different things in America, and it's hard not to feel like things are starting to tip and hit that point of no return. Like the economy? There's a weird feeling in there right now. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Ever since COVID, bro? It's just, it's just been going downhill with the government. I feel like we've lost our pride too. Bro, like, you keep bringing up the government, bro. We specific. Like, what about the government? Bro, you mean the federal government? What about it, though? You keep blaming the government. What did they do? We've lost, not not just for our country, but for ourselves. Like, yeah, right. we just don't give a no more, yeah. That's the problem out nowadays. That's Maybe exactly he's talking it, about, like, the COVID we mandates. You know like, I mean, like, how do we get people to give a shit again? We only have one short little life. Shit. You know, how do you get people to care? You gotta, yeah, you gotta bring them together. Community services. Yep. I think even the little things, like trash. Like You have to yeah. be Jeff Bezos to throw away your trash. You yeah. know? Everyone can do that. To the people back home, you have power with your choices, and you can make your city a better place or worst place. So get out there and fucking let's get after it. You know what I mean? Become one. Unite. That's how it works. Unite. Shall we hit the wagon wheel? Let's hit the wagon wheel. Let's hit it. I like that. Should we hit the wagon wheel? So now we're downtown. Only y'all knew what the fuck happened in this trailer. You used to live here? I used to visit people here. I mean, you know, some people here and basically uh, some shit went down. Shots were fired. Uh, we're all in there and your boy almost fucking passed out passed away but you know we here and yeah you know what i mean shit just happened here that wasn't supposed to happen so this is the spot where everybody fucking grew up everybody knows each other so what are your aspirations you seem like a motivated guy yeah definitely motivated you know coming from a place like this coming from a place that was full of danger and full of people just wanting to do fucking shit that wasn't right so now we're at a story where we can motivate people and tell them our story and let them know how everything we did wasn't right, but it was just happening in the moment. Now we're just trying to inspire people to get away from this life and to do better in life, you know what I mean? What's a dream job for you? A dream job would be uh, what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to be a motivational speaker for people and I'm trying to just make sure that the community knows that even though you went through bullshit, you can still get out of it no matter the situation or the mentality. We're walking towards a, a group of tents. Is that a new development or has this been a common place for a while for this, that kind of stuff? Pretty, honestly, nowadays it's common. Since I've been out, it's no, common. that's W positivity. Arizona. This is in Arizona. So this is just in walking distance in this community. There's a few hot spots already that we've stumbled on. And this is all due to the blue, the blue devil. Fat. Hey there, how you doing? This is a good camp you got. How long you been in this spot for? We've been here, like, I'm going on like two months now. This spot seems a lot more quiet and secluded. Yeah. So, you're kind of an outdoor <laughs> survivalist. Nigga like, blowing up the spot. Top, like three, four things. Like, this is where I need to survive. These are the most important things in my kit. Um, water, food, blankets, uh, just save other people. How do you go about, what's your strategy for food? Just like cold, like bologna, bread, easy open can. The government is letting the fent come in, agent. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know the first thing about fentanyl. I just know it'd be killing hella people. So it, the government's doing it on purpose? Why would they do that? Or they just not, they don't care to change it? Or do they profit off it? And 
most of our food we get from like the churches and stuff. Is there a lot of places Population to go? control. Or is there limited options? Like how hard is it to get food? It, it's it's hard to get around, like especially if you don't have no money. How have blues changed the game? I got on it and I fractured my my wrist and I thought maybe I was going to stop right after I got it fixed and then and I'm still stuck on it. And how long has that been? Um, I just recently got on it. Before that was methamphetamine. So what's unique about the blues? What's the game changer about the blues? It numbs a lot of like my depression and stuff that I go through. How much does a daily habit go for? Or how many pills does it take to make it through a day? I just started so I'm going on like maybe like these four to five pills a day but there's other people that go like from like 20 pills a day to 50 to 100 a hundred pills i don't know how much each dose is bro but a hundred pills of anything sound like a lot bro pills, yeah 100 pills a day so their tolerance is built up so i'm looking for your take on this people that are on the more democratic side would say the solution too. to all this is more government programs more government resources the Republican side of the, the political party would say uh, personal responsibility, personal accountability is the answer to all this. What do you guys think? It's about caring about each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you see a person down and you say, oh, well, you need to do this, you need to do that. No, I'd be living your life. You know what I mean? You're trying to tell me what I need to do. If I need to do it, let me be. Just as long as I'm not trying to hurt me or you or no one else. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that person can't work. You know what I'm saying? I've been working since I was 17. You know what I'm saying? I got an accident. Accident. You got in a car accident? Yeah. Bro was cut, you know what I'm saying? Lost memory. Gained depression, you know what I'm saying? What's your take on the Democrat versus Republican for this issue? I think it's all just yourself, like get yourself to do things. I think everybody's got their own part in being responsible for themselves. Like it's either you want to be out here to be out here or like sometimes you have to be out here just, you know, to make it. But I think it's everybody's own responsibility to make their decision what they want to decide on. Is there anything you'd like to say to a family that might be watching this or friends Bro. or people back home? Don't take life for granted, I guess. Listen to your parents and then, like, try to stay away from the drugs because this is your life. This is your future that you're looking at when you get on drugs. Well, thank you, guys. Stay warm, stay safe, and have a good night, okay? You too. There's a lot of outcomes this life can have. Right. And you can go from homeless to millionaire to homeless. Fast. Like, Fast. That's, that's the, the crazy part about life, man. It's like, an adventure, isn't it? Yeah. Just the thought Some of, lingo, just the thought of drugs scares the shit out of me, bro. <laughs> hey, that's just homie, you know what I mean? What up, foo? Is there any other lingo I should know? Feel. Feel. You gotta be a badass motherfucker to be Pio? a Feel. <laughs> <laughs> like that guy with the bigote was a Pio. Yeah, that was a Pio. <laughs> Alright, let's do like an MTV Cribs tour. So, like, look, this is my motherfucker. Crib. You feel me? We got the flowers and shit. <laughs> Bitches love flowers, so you gotta keep the flowers up. You feel me? You know bitches I mean? do like flowers. And sorry to say the first part, but I was informed earlier that bitches like flowers. Yo, this place is massive. <laughs> is that true? Someone what the fuck, bro? I don't know why it doesn't look this big from the outside, bro. Someone just told me about two Somebody minutes ago. We're not bitches. Yo, not, I'm not exactly. saying you. I'm just saying in general. Oh, we're no work female. <laughs> Females like flowers. Is that true? Who said this? I don't know. I'm not going to tell oh, them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when the video drops, you'll see. Oh, okay. Okay. MTV Cribs. MTV Cribs. Right, so look, you got the you got the little kitchen. You know okay. What I mean? you know Tough. You know what I mean? Everything you need. Kitchen what did this run you? How much does it cost to buy this thing? I only paid four bands for the trailer, you know what I mean? 4000 Yeah, 4000 for the trailer. That's it. And free and clear. Free and clear. I no, got the title of my name. No monthly everything. payments. No, I pay. I pay lot rent though. Just to have your place on this lot is how much? I only pay about six hundred a that month. That sounds expensive. Just for that lot. But trailer. but you but you paying water. You know what I mean? You paying electric. Oh, for me? all utilities so too. Someone doesn't own their trailer. How much does it cost? It depends. It, like I like I can rent this out. Like honestly, I got a back room and I rent it out to someone back there too. You There's I mean? no like, way this is safe. It, it's bad out here. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers willing to pay six hundred dollars for one little ass room. So kitchen, living room. Bro, this is a living room, you know what I mean? This is my nah, mom, if that in, if, yo, if that includes utilities, that's actually not a bad price, bro. Right? That includes utilities. Not that they're gonna use a lot. I don't think this place drains that much power, but. See, like I just told you, she just died a couple days ago. And I mean, recipes, walls right here. These things, like they go a lot longer than you realize. I mean, she got a good security measure. Like that one and that one, though. You feel yeah. me? Oh, this is a second bedroom. Yeah, sure. So this is the one I just told you, though. So I'll rent this out for about six hundred dollars a month too. You know what I mean? We can be chilling out here, dog. You know what I mean? Here, y'all need to check it out. NBA Young Boy and Contest. We got it. <laughs>
real goat shit around here. I know, is that a goat? Stop. Anyone has a verse? They can go yeah, for it. Hey, <laughs> hey, you should have left it alone. Back in the day, it was okay to play, but now it's back in the zone. I'm too deep in the key technique, make me feel free in the code. I'm unique while the pen bleeds, I can see how many will fold. Hey, hey, you don't need for control. No thoughts are far from the O. Fuck what you thought I was on. Let's play chess, you're playing the pawn. You go left, I go right, that's a flank in my ring with some blankets, some comms. You rappers are making me yawn. The appearance of Cyrus when I'm on a song. I'm like Rick with a sink and a sick when you think that nothing is wrong. I'm legit, no assist with the pit and the kit and the fit till it's done. Yeah, Ooh, you got some yeah. choppy wordplay, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some light, some light. Next sunlight. to that, goat. I would say you're the goat of this. Mmm. Chat, he just spent all video being positive. You better be positive too, bitch. You better be very positive in the fucking chat right now. <laughs> as far as Parks and Phoenix go, where does this rank as far as sketchiness? It gets pretty fucking sketchy out here, yeah. You know what I mean? It's good, bad, and ugly out here. If someone were to call this the sketchiest trailer park in Phoenix, what would you think about that? It's pretty yeah. accurate. It's, it's, we got an inside look to 48 block. We got to talk to a goat. Yeah. We got to talk to local residents. I really enjoyed my time here. Does anyone have any final thoughts, anything they'd like to tell the people? Just appreciate Tommy coming out to the hood, you know, and showing love and shit out here every day, you know what I mean? Just keep pushing this shit, dog. Thank you for joining us, folks. We'll see you next week. Peace. Who we? Yo, Tommy. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. W video, bro. Okay, that shit made me a little sad, though. Oh, so you like the video. Boom. You, you're gonna like that one too, man. Go ahead, just. Bro, click the link. What the? Bro, that's what I be saying. Like.